you better get out first. Hmm? And the kids won't shut up about it if they find out we're dating. Oh. So we're dating. I'll see you at lunch. You'll have to be sneakier than that, or the kids will be saying you're engaged by break time. <laughs> who popped out a child and now you think you're better than everyone? There's a lot of you pricks out there. JK Calloway here, jumping back in Two Heart Stopper. Episode three, season three. Uh, it's a roller coaster already through two, but this one's called Talk. Yes, please. <laughs> that, that would be huge. Um, especially with, frankly, Charlie's parents, who seem like they don't seem like they're shitheads, but mom seems a little bit like, like, oh, just, just do what I say and everything will be fine. And she, you know, has all the answers and shit, and, and things are a lot more simple than what they actually are. I mean, yes, talk, yes, but listen, please, listen, listen would be good. That's kind of the thing right now. Charlie is. Um, starting to accept the idea that he has an eating disorder, which is a huge step, scary step. Um, and you know, Nick has kind of taken it upon himself to be like, I need to fix that. And I understand that. I, I understand that feeling, you know, like it's, I don't know, a societal you know, like, beating into you that as, you know, a man especially, you need to fix things. If there's a problem, solve it, kind of thing. And it's, that, that's one that's not doable. I mean, there's a lot of things that are not doable, and I'm very guilty of that. I'm, like, I always, like, and I, I can't fucking stop myself, even though I know I should. Like, if there's something bugging my wife, Siobhan. I'm always like, how can I help? Right? Which is like really all I can say or should say. But the con, you know, the context is how can I fix it? Right? And I would love to say that because my wife calls me out all the time. It's like, you can't fix whatever, like, whatever is in my head right now. And that is very much what I mean. It's not how can I help, it's how can I fix it. And I need to stop it. <laughs> I can't. Like, it's just hardwired. I don't know what it is. I want to be part of the solution. Nick wants to be part of the solution. This one's too big. It's gotta be Charlie to take the steps. It's gotta be Charlie to ask for the help. Um, and not just from Nick or his friends or his parents or his sister. It, it's, it's bigger than that. And there is no fixing a lot of mental illnesses or uh, mental acuities. There's no fixing it. It's just maintaining it and trying to be healthy. This one, you know, I, I you know, like I said last episode when I was doing the wrap up, I dated someone with a eating disorder. There's no fixing it. <laughs> there's there's really no fixing it. It's it's learning how to maintain, learning how to make healthy choices. It's hard and like I don't know how deep they're gonna go into it but you know I'm, I'm certainly not an expert just because I dated someone so I'm very excited and interested to see how they tackle this also you know it affects everyone around him it, it, obviously it's affecting Nick but more than anyone is affecting Tori Charlie's sister and I would love to see just you know for a moment Tori smile I mean, like, I like she. She's so focused on her her brother because, you know, she's seen what he's gone through, what he's been through, and has you know for a long while was his only ally. It seems like he's got some friends and stuff, but he's not 
ready or willing to open up to them. It's scary. It, it's scary those moments in life where you feel you are completely alone. And thankfully, I think Charlie realizes he's not. It's still fucking hard. It's still fucking scary. Make sure you do hit like and subscribe. Down there somewhere. Turn on notifications. Uh, yeah, uh, episodes three and four. We'll put out episode four tomorrow, and then we're finishing off the rest of the season next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's like it's been a roller coaster already. <laughs> we're through two episodes. <laughs> like, and this show always is, but for the most part, it's joyful, right? That's why I love it. But it does tackle some fucking issues that are scary and interesting and horrifying. Like, like, like things, you know, as far as the sexuality part of it goes I've never had to deal with I am you know let's let's face it lucky I'm lucky in a lot of ways that I was predisposed you know I have a predisposition toward women because societal bullshit norms but you know like everyone who's not born straight has to come out like I never had to do that and like I am, you know, very aware of my privilege <laughs> with that, right? But you know, I like I, I want to be an ally <laughs> as much as I can be, and I want to be understanding and have empathy. So, like, I, I, it's weird how I feel proud of, of things that are not I am not accomplishing. Like, like all these characters, and I'm like, you guys are great, I'm so proud of you. I didn't do shit. On top of that, it's a TV show. They didn't do shit. It's acting, but I fucking love it. Anyway. Subscribe. <laughs> also, we do full reactions to every episode of Heartstopper, plus everything else we've ever done. They're over at Patreon, patreon.com forward slash JK Reacts. Sign up and go check out the full reactions on Cut, and, uh... Every episode we do here on YouTube, we give a shout-out to one of our patrons. This episode, we're shouting out Angel Garcia. It might be on hell. I apologize if it is. Uh, I, I, I butcher names. That's what I'm here for. It's mostly what I do. Yeah, thank you, on hell, Angel. Jerry. Who knows? Not your real name. But, <laughs> yeah, if you want to hear your name shouted out here on the channel, head over to Patreon, sign up, support the channel. We'll give you a shout-out. And you get to hear my goofy, simple, straight ass act like I know shit about anything. Because I don't. What's the term? I'm, I'm 44 and white. I'm part Native American, but I'm white as shit. Let's be real. What, what, what's my... What, what uh, Cis. I'm cis. I still don't know what that's short for. What's... Cicero? Am I Italian? I am Italian. I'm quarters. I'm a mutt. I'm Irish, Italian, Native American, and German. I'm white! Talk! I do too much of that. Anyway, let's jump back into it. Uh, and, I mean... I think school's starting now. So, Tao's gonna be freaking out. There's a lot going on. Let's jump back in. Here we go. Tara, congrats on your amazing GCSE results. Thanks, Miss. You should think about applying to be prefects. You've got a real shot at it. Yeah. Since when did our dress code include trousers? Well, the sixth form boys get to wear trousers, so why can't I? You look so... Yeah. You. Hi. Hi. So you get it. Oh, hey, hey. Hey. Yes, right. Amazing. Hey. hey. You better get out first. Hmm? And the kids won't shut up about it if they find out we're dating. Oh. So we're dating. See you at lunch. You'll have to be sneakier than that, or the kids will be saying you're engaged by break time. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I, I love.
love how they greet each other with a hi. It's like... I had to go now. <laughs> Great. Fuck them. It's your birthday on Saturday. Oh. Yeah? Do you want to do something? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't normally have a party or anything. I'm going to organize something. You don't have to. No, you. I want to. It will distract me from, you know. Pick me benches. I guess, uh, choose a place you both feel safe. Mention the things that have concerned you. Try to avoid making the conversation about food and weight. Or we could eat in the art room. Just us. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you'd be catching up with your friends today. Yeah, I will. I just prefer eating in here. It's less stressful. Oh, right. I have a lot of rules about... Doesn't matter. It's stupid. I know it's silly. No, it. Hi. It... Hey. About our phone call. Can we? Can we not talk about that? That was almost huge. Okay. He almost yeah. told his teacher. Really, the one person at that school he trusted before Nick. That was almost huge. Just, just the idea that he might is huge. Wish I had a boyfriend. James, no. I need at least one single friend, okay? <laughs> like been third wheeling me at every opportunity. You're like a romantic. What? You know what that is? Uh, yeah, I read a book where there was an aromantic character, and then I thought about what happened with us in Paris and stuff. That's the third time you've rewrapped that. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm bad at wrapping, and I want it to look perfect. So. Hey, Tori. Hi. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thanks for the message last week. Yeah. Wow. Did you talk to him? Yeah. Well, thank you. Fucking Tori. For trying. Ta da! Ta -da! <laughs> Where are you? The zoo? Okay. Everyone's coupled up. Grab a book. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Don't you hate when people call you ladies? I don't know. Teachers at school call us it all the time. Yeah, I've, I've never really thought about it. Do you really hate it? Yeah, it's just like, I'm not a lady. It's weird. Okay. Well, it's just so painful for you to have to hang out with us and not with your girlfriend. Why do you have to be so bitter about me and our dating? I'm not like, bitter. You've just not been a very good friend lately, Tao. All you care about is your relationship. What happened to James? Dude. This is really uncomfortable. Well, I'm not apologizing, but neither am I. Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Maybe we've been ignoring him and all of our friends. I guess we have a bit. I know you love Isaac and Charlie just as much as me, Tao. You just don't want to kiss them. You got angry at Charlie for doing the exact same thing we've been doing. True. Absolutely true. I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I said. That's okay. I'm sorry too. I've had like romance goggles on. <laughs> it's been great. But I've been a bad friend. It's unnecessary. <laughs> you will make it seem like being in a relationship is the most perfect, magical thing anyone could ever hope for. It does feel pretty magical, though. Yeah, it's, it's just really hard when I know that's not what I actually want. I guess I'm still just coming to terms with that. I don't really know how to feel okay with it yet, uh, with being asexual and aromantic. It, it, uh, it changes everything I thought I knew about myself. When I first realized I liked Charlie, I cried at an Am I Gay quiz. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. I love you too. 
Come on. We haven't been to the bug house yet and I want to see some spiders. You okay? Yeah, sorry, I just need to sit down. I feel really tired. You know something, and you're not telling me. What's up with him? I don't think I'm the one who should be talking to you about this. So should I ask Charlie? No, please don't do that. You cannot talk to him about but it. But why? Because he can barely talk to me about it. What's this? Thank you, Gift, for the best birthday ever. <laughs> he reminded me of you. Is this every jumper you've ever borrowed? Well, they don't smell like you anymore, so... They don't <laughs> smell like me. Are you saying you like my smell? Wrapped very neatly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. I know it's cheesy, but the rest of it's blank, so... Do it. Tell me to wake you up at nine. Is it already? You know I love you. And I'm really glad we talked about the mental health stuff. I know, I know you don't want me to try and fix you. Say you're there. But I love you so much. I really want you to talk to someone. Your parents or a doctor or something like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> what if my parents think I'm faking it? Or they get angry at me? Maybe I could come with you. Yeah. Like, I don't know. You're probably less likely to get angry if I'm there. My mental health has been really bad lately. I've been finding eating really difficult. Sometimes it makes me feel really stressed. Or tired or angry. And I think I've been like this for quite a long time. But I didn't want to admit Sorry. it. And, and now it's gotten way worse. I was thinking maybe I could go to the doctors about it. Maybe they could help. I want to get better. Fucking huge. God damn. That's so fucking hard. Ah, that's so cool. That, you know. I'm glad we didn't get their reaction. You know what I mean? <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> Writing it down. Great idea. You know? Just because... Just vamping that would be so hard. Especially when like he's clearly... He's worried about what his parents, how they would react, and uh, we have, like, it seems like his mom's a little bit, you know, step up her lip, his dad's a little looser, but, you know, we haven't been given the whole story about their parent, about his parents, you know, are they dismissive about things like that? Uh, things like anything Do, you know are there moments in you know Charlie and Tori's lives where they've kind of dismissed when they've tried to express themselves we haven't really seen that exactly we just know that Tori has taken the leadership role and and seen you know when Charlie's in pain more than mom or dad have where you know I, like I, I understand life is busy you know, when you've got so many things juggling, you might miss some things with your kids. I understand that. Um, they won't ever again now, which is great. You know, like hopefully they don't don't become like helicopter parents or anything. But just you know, saying hey, we're here, we're always here. You can always talk to us. They better. 
they fucking better respond that way. I'll be so pissed at the actors. But that's just an awesome scene. Especially Tori. You know, like, that that must be some kind of release for her. Like, a fucking, like, 200 pounds off her shoulders. You know what I mean? Like, that... Like, I, I, how, how alone has Tori felt this whole time? You know, being literally the only person before Nick who's seen what's going on with Charlie. Not not the complete, you know, everything that's going on, but just knowing that something's not right. You know? And to have her at the stairs listening to Charlie actually verbalize what's been going on. It's gotta be an amazing moment for Tori. You know what I mean? Like, more than anyone in this story, I really, I really to Tori, obviously. Not because, you know, my younger brother had any of, anything like this, but just, you know, wanting to be that protector and, and, and offering to be there before anyone else. And now, you know, like, ah, it's a huge moment, not only for Charlie, but for Tori. Thank you guys for watching. Comments. I know what you thought of that one. I'm going to go drink a bunch of water and rehydrate. <laughs> so, but God, we're three episodes in. Man, this is like... Oh, God, I love this show. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. Number four tomorrow. We'll talk to you then.